and we're back happy sunday i hope you're all having an amazing day thank you so much for joining me today guys all right T the topic of today's video is whiteness anti-whiteness or how to be less white uh how math is white supremacy i'm not sure how to explain it so let's just dive right into it before i do guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button leave me a thumbs up if you like my video and my favorite part is the comments say it every video but the comments you guys it keeps me motivated keeps me going so leave me a comment let me know what you guys think about this madness going on where to start all right i'm sure you've all heard about this one coca-cola this is absolutely insane this is from the coca-cola company all right now Carolyn Barsenko on Twitter, uh, she had a whistleblower, an employee of Coke, send her this stuff that they are, they're making the employees of Coke do this critical race theory training, and it's being taught by Robin D'Angelo, who's the most racist person in the world. Um, Robin D'Angelo wrote a book called White Privilege, or I don't know, this lady's crazy. Um... All right, so let's read it here. Breaking, Coca-Cola is forcing employees to complete online training, telling them to try to be less white. These images are from an internal whistleblower. I'm just going to pull up the... And listen, guys, this gets better. The next one I'm going to show you, I just saw a couple days ago. It's mind-blowing, so stick with me here. All right, so I'm going to make these a little bigger so you can see them. All right, so these are screenshots from these people's... Com these employees' computers... Ah, oh, and Coca-Cola. All right, so the top one says confronting, ra <laughs> confronting racism, understanding what it means to be white, challenging what it means to be racist. The next one next to it says, all right, we'll go down instead. All right, so the one below it, and you can see up in the corner, it says Robin D'Angelo. Like, uh, what? and you have any idea, they probably paid this lady easily six figures to come in and teach this absolute garbage nonsense. I... Listen, if I was a Coca-Cola employee, I would have got up, pushed my computer on the ground. I quit. I'm out of here. Left. Left. I don't care. You couldn't pay me enough money to sit through this garbage. All right. It says, in the U.S. and other Western nations, white people are socialized to feel that they are inherently superior because they are white. <laughs> Where does she come up with this horse shit? This is complete and utter horse shit. All right. The one in the upper corner says, to be less white is to be less, be less oppressive be less arrogant. Be less certain. Don't, you don't want to be certain about yourself. Make sure you're, you know, over quivering in a corner. You don't want to be certain of yourself. Be less defensive. Be less ignorant. Be more humble. Listen. Believe. Break with apathy and break with white solidarity. All right. Oh, my God. I cannot believe someone actually comes up with this bullshit. Then she gets paid a ton of money to come teach it. The one below it says, try to be less white. <laughs> try to be less. Can you imagine if the races were reversed? Just imagine for a second if the races were reversed, what an uproar. Coke would be shut down immediately and sued, and I, it would be. All right. So. Okay, so this is, like I said, Dr. Carlin Barsenko, it's on Twitter. She had an um, internal whistleblower from Coke send her this information. All right, garbage. All right, next. This one, this one, this one's crazy. I had no idea. I, I knew this guy was insane, but I had no idea that this he was part of the whole virtue signal and uh, woke crap. Well, yeah, I, that's, scratch that. I did. I did. <laughs> Who am I talking about? None other than the trusty old Bill Gates. <laughs> Look at the title of this thing. Math is Racist, the controversial school initiative funded by Bill Gates. This guy's out of his goddamn mind. I don't know if you guys have seen all the other stuff he's doing. Um, he's the largest owner now of farmland in the United States. So he's bought up more farmland than anyone else in the United States. He's got something to do with the Canadian Railroad that brings all the food around the country. It all goes, it's a Canadian Railroad, but it goes all the way down to the south. Um, so that has something to do with, to do with uh, the 
you know, the food delivery. Um, so getting into that, I don't know what it all means, but it's all very bizarre. Um, clearly, you guys know he's very heavily involved in this whole uh, illness, the whole pandemic we've had for the past year. Um, he's been very heavily involved in that. I, whatever. Um, but when you get somebody that's buying up the farmland, who's in control of growing the food, who's in control of the food delivery system, you start to wonder what the hell's going on here. All right. Besides that, math is all right. What's he talking about? What is he talking? How math is ma <laughs> all right? Let's see if this makes any sense. Now I'm not reading this whole article because I can barely get into the first few sentences before it just—it's such no. All right, let me go. Billionaire, billionaire Bill Gates is interfering with mathematics teaching in schools in the United States, considering the practice involved is racist. Mathematics teaching in schools in the United States, considering the practices involved is racist. Okay, okay, let's see where he goes. Gates donated hundreds of millions of dollars to institutions that support critical race theory. Critical race theory is what we just saw, what we're seeing with the Coca-Cola company. Now, let me remind you guys. Donald Trump signed an executive order to ban critical race theory in government, like in government institutions, so well, like federal institutions. So it couldn't be taught to these people because he knew that it was complete nonsense. Um, I guess he couldn't ban it in private companies and stuff like that, but he banned it in all government, federal institutions. Joe Biden comes into office. The second Joe Biden comes into office, he reverses it and says, yeah, critical race theory is being taught. We're going to let it be, okay? So keep that in mind. If Biden reversed that, and I was 150% for when Trump said no more critical race theory in the government and federal uh, agencies. I was 150% for it, 200% for it, and then Biden reversed it. And this is what it is. So if you guys didn't know what it is, it's trash like this. Uh, so Gates donated hundreds of millions of dollars to institutions that support critical race theory, the idea that U.S. political and economic institutions are inherently racist, according to the Washington Free Beacon on February 17th. In this case, in this case, Gates' money funds several organizations associated with the Pathway to Equitable Math instruction. A group of 25 educational organizations that argue asking students to show their work and find the correct answer is a sign of racism. Okay, okay, that's... The dumbest shit I've ever heard. I was terrible in math when I was in school. Terrible in math. But I passed. I barely passed. I made it through. Um, at no point in school, when me or my black friend sitting next to me or the Hispanic person in the class or the Asian person in the class, at no point when we were doing our math did any of us did it cross our minds that this is racist the teachers asking us to show two and two you know two plus two minus one times three equals what do it i'll get the answer none of us figured oh wow this is racist i don't have to do this no no all right they also argue that the concept they are also argue that the concept that mathematics is purely objective is unequivocally false and that focusing on the right answer to math equations is an example of... <laughs> this is crazy. These, teach these teachings changes specifically target... Oh, these, these teaching changes specifically target Black, Latino, and multilingual students in grades 6, 7, and 8. The initiative comes as a response to the country's protests and riots last year, which accused U.S. society, uh, which accused U.S. society of racism. All right. So now you see why these generations, these younger generations are so screwed up. They're being taught this garbage in school. If you pound it into somebody's head enough that math is racist, that, you know, this country's, if you just keep pounding it into someone's head, Eventually, subconsciously, they're going to start believing it and repeating it. So, math. All right. So, all right. So, we got math. Math is racist. No doubt. Okay, math is racist. Bad math. We got to get rid of math. Just get rid of it, period. Get rid of it. 
Um, Coca Cola. Uh, yeah, that's clearly racist. <laughs> um, what well, Coca Cola is doing, making their employees sit down and and go through this course. That's that's complete and utter nonsense. I'm hoping that some of the employees there try to sue Coke for that. That can't be legal. That cannot be legal what they're doing to these people. I, maybe it is. I don't know. It's ridiculous. All right. So the last video clip I'm going to show you guys, and I'm done. Quick video today. I played this clip in a video that I made just the other day. Okay. Um, just a quick clip of somebody, a TikToker. Um, we're going to call them they. We're going to call this person they because I, I don't want to offend anybody. So they go on this little rant about obesity, um, and blah, 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 a bunch of other stuff, and then says that uh, fat phobia is anti blackness. It's from, I, I, when I heard that, the top of my skull almost popped off my brain. Almost went, this, this is the most bizarre rant that. Uh, uh, let me play it. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. The obesity epidemic isn't real and it shouldn't be an anti-capitalist talking point. When someone unironically references the obesity epidemic or even uses the word obesity, it tells me they really don't know what they're talking about when it comes to fatness. This use of the word obesity stems directly from the BMI, which was created by a eugenicist with no medical training who based the scale only on white bodies and cow math. Fatness is not an epidemic. Fat people existed before capitalism and before colonization. Fat phobia is a direct result of anti-blackness, and it has deadly consequences for many groups of indigenous folks and other people of this first result of anti-blackness. And it has deadly consequences. Fat phobia is a direct result of anti-blackness, and it has and is a direct result of anti-blackness. People existed before capitalism and before colonization. Fat phobia is a direct result of anti-blackness, and it has deadly consequences for many groups of indigenous folks and other people of color, as well as fat folks. When you make the obesity epidemic a real symptom of capitalism, you are not only ostracizing fat people from anti-capitalist thinking, but also actively ignoring that the health outcomes related to obesity are more accurately attributed to food deserts. All right, I had to shut it off. I could not listen to another word of that. Fat phobia is a direct result of anti-blackness. What does that mean? What? Bill Gates, how is math? What? <laughs> and Coke, try to be less white. What is going on? What? Ah, what? Like, really, what is this? Listen, this narrative is being pumped for... There's a reason that they just keep pushing this absolute horse shit. Oh! And the, la the other thing I gotta bring up, too, is... I almost forgot about this one. I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Gran Torino with Clint Eastwood. Another crazy story that just came out. Gran Torino star B. Van criticizes film's racial slurs. Mainstreamed anti-Asian racism. This movie was made in 2008. This movie's what? 13 years old. And this kid now is just coming out and saying, it's a movie. You were an actor in a movie. And it didn't mainstream any anti-Asian -ra racism. It, it absolutely didn't. This, Listen, if you haven't seen this movie, it's about an old crotchety veteran from the war that lives next door to some Hmong, uh, you know, Hmong family. H-M-O-N-G. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Hmong family. And... At first, they don't get along, and he call, and then they start becoming friends, and he helps this kid out a lot, and he and he calls him some, he says some, uh, you know, some racist slurs that I that are geared toward Asian people in the movie. But at no point in that movie did me or anybody else that I know watch it say, "Oof, I'm gonna start calling Asian people that." No, it fit in perfectly with the movie. I I don't think if he didn't say those things in the movie, it probably wouldn't have added that allure to the realism of it. I mean, you get these crotchety old war veterans that fought in Vietnam that, uh, you know, that came back to America, you know, for reasons that, I don't know, justified or not, didn't like Asian people after that. And, you know, a lot of them talk like that. I've heard it myself, whether 
you know, I, I, I agree to disagree. That's they did. They talk like that. Um, not not all of them. I'm saying I've heard a few of them say this talk just the same way this guy did. And now this this kid's an actor. He's in a movie. So this is just another another example of nonsensical horseshit virtue signaling playing the whole race card and it's getting out of control this is nonsense coke boycott coke i'm not in the whole cancel culture thing but if they're gonna force that down their employees throats i don't even drink coke anyway maybe the whole obesity epidemic should stop drinking the coke i don't know i don't know just throwing it out there and just spitballing here jesus christ don't but instead it's fat phobias uh ba the reason for fat phobia is because of anti-blackness. I, I I don't know. I don't know what any of this stuff means. It's all it's all ridiculous. What is Bill Gates talking about? How is math racist? How? It doesn't make sense to me. All right, I'm getting too heated up, guys. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing day. Listen, we gotta take this in stride. Just say it every day. The world's obviously going crazy. Just be the best person you can. Help others out and everything's going to work out. I promise we'll get through it together, guys. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If nothing else, we'll laugh. All right? If nothing else, we'll laugh to get us through it. Take care. Peace.